and some parts of the UK have had a month's worth of rain already and we're only nine days into July. Hello, thank you, Anna. Well, we've heard from Wimbledon, of course, lots of rain there and it's raining too here in our very soggy garden picture in Chelmsford. And this just sets the scene really for the rest of the week. Now, Chelmsford, Kew Gardens near Wimbledon, just one of many spots across the whole of the south of England that have already seen over a month's worth of rainfall. We're only on the 9th of July, of course, and there's yet more rain to come in the forecast. And just to add to that special summer feeling, it's going to be turning colder by Friday. But don't despair, there will be some sunshine at times, and I will tell you where a bit later on in the programme. Beautiful flowers, thank you Lizzie. And we can join Kate who is at a very, very wet Wimbledon. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jalou. Yes, it is that indeed. It seems to be relentless, the rain here today. Once it starts to dry up, you've got about two minutes before it starts raining again, but it takes quite a lot to dampen these weather fans' spirits. Lots of people sat on the hill still, regardless of it. I don't know if you can hear the squelch beneath me. Thank you, Anna. Well, I did promise you some sunshine. Here it is. It's in rather short supply today, but there is some across the far north of Scotland. Caithness, Sutherland, Orkney, Shetland and through the west. Western Isles, but for most of us, I'm afraid this is the story. Leaden skies and muddy puddles, further outbreaks of rain expected too. Now, this is the rainfall accumulation chart over the next 48 hours. As you can see, we're all in for another dose of wet weather. This is the key. Where you see the darkest blue across eastern Scotland, the rain will be really quite relentless. And here with the bright green, some showers, some thunderstorms, heavy downpours may be popping up over parts of northwest England. Unlike the gentleman in your piece, I refer <laughs> Refused to just get wet earlier and I got the bus for about a four minute journey and I was seething at the rain. Oh, so you, sick of it. Were you soaked? Or was it, were you undercover? Well, no, because I got the bus. <laughs> oh, it's easy. <laughs> I mean, I could just get an umbrella, but it's a typical <sighs> man. We've got so many umbrellas. So sick of losing them. I know it just has been really depressing. Do you want some good news? Go on, yes, please. So you might have heard these headlines about we're getting 35, 40 degrees coming up. Um, we're not committing to that, <laughs> but mid next week, it's starting to look like things are going to get a bit warmer and hopefully by the end of next week, our temperatures will be above average instead of below. So everyone keep everything crossed. But for now, at least it's getting a bit better. Right, here we go. Here's the forecast. Hello again. I hope you had a super day. Now, these clouds look pretty fierce, don't they? Uh, and I've actually had enough of them, probably you as well. So we thought we'd enjoy some lovely summer flowers. And as we go through tomorrow, it should be a drier and brighter day. Can't rule out a few showers, though, still. And then Thursday looks a little bit better, again, with some sunny spells around to enjoy. Into Thursday, half decent. Some sunshine emerging, particularly in the morning. A bit cooler and cloudier on Friday. Here's the pollen. And there's good news on the pollen front as well. Not too bad over the next few days. Well, not very high at least, but it's moderate to high, helped of course by the odd shower here or there. That's it for now. I'll see you later on. Cheerio. I have the perfect person to answer. Ask mm. that uh, to right now, Thomas. Mm. Sophie, what can I say? It's been disappointing. <laughs> More than, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it really is not good, folks. Um, I'm going to show you the forecast now for the next few days. Look at the jet stream. Here it is. It's to the south of us. When the jet stream is to the south of us, colder air comes in from the north. And the jet stream for the next few days is way to the south of us. And it's also pushing in weather systems. So what do we need for things to warm up? We need the jet stream to be to the north of us. So yes, some of us will like this warm air coming in from the south, but you will not like it when you read this here, end of July. I shall see myself out now. <laughs> It's been good weather for the gardens, but oh, it's all just a bit too much, isn't it? Kate, please put us out of our misery. When are we going to have some summer weather? Well, I'll start with today. Um, it hasn't been today, obviously. I'm just noticing, actually, the uh, covers on the outside courts are just being pulled back. It is a little bit dry, despite me holding up uh, this umbrella at the moment. You see, the crowds behind me have dwindled since the lunchtime forecast and bulletin. Not many people left around. It has been quite a chilly day, although it has felt quite humid up until this point. Temperatures got up to around 19 Celsius. We have had a lot of rain, not only here at Wimbledon, but right the way 
way across London. Now, North Holt this month has been the wettest. It has recorded 138% of July's rainfall already, and we're only just over the first week of July. Hello there, good evening. It's feeling muggy and humid today in the south. Plenty of rain around yet again, including here in Chelmsford in Essex. In fact, many spots across the south have already seen over a month's worth of rainfall. We're only nine days into July and there's yet more unsettled conditions as we head through the rest of the week. So expect further wet weather at times. Won't be raining all the time everywhere. There'll also be some sunshine. It's been in short supply today. Some of the best of it across the far north of Scotland, Shetland and Orkney. Well, let's get the weather forecast now and Becky's in Chelmsford. Uh, it's not only Wimbledon organisers who are in a panic, is it? No, it definitely isn't. It certainly has been a very wet day here in Essex through today. Welcome to RHS Hyde Hall. It is exquisite here and although we're all complaining about the weather, the flowers in the main are mostly loving it. So as you can see it is absolutely gorgeous here. You might even have noticed that some of your own plants have put on some unusual amount of growth this year thanks to the very wet and rather mild sort of conditions and benefits that I'm told are still going to be very apparent by next spring but for now preparations for their famous and fabulous flower show at the end of this month are well underway so as I say and as you can see it is absolutely heavenly here but it has been rather chilly right across the UK through today with temperatures just a little bit below what we should have for the time of year thunderstorms too and in fact we saw a very lively weekend if we look back at the radar from Sunday just Sunday afternoon you can see those white streaks on the map that's lightning strikes we saw over 1100 on Sunday afternoon afternoon very lively let's have a look now at the forecast so let's see if we can make some tennis players happy and the gardeners as well it does remain unsettled over the next few days there will still be some outbreaks of rain but yes it is true although not quite as true as what the papers are saying for next week 35 degrees who says that it is going to improve but fairly slowly